Hey, what's going on, dudes? My name is Tezza. Welcome back to another episode of my LA Angels franchise mode on MLB 13 this show. Another one at Anaheim Stadium today, taking on the Pittsburgh Pirates. Obviously, the Pirates had a good um, postseason ish this, uh, this year. They didn't make it all the way, but they did well. And they've not had a bad start to the season in the show. Obviously, not as good as the Angels. We are doing pretty well. Uh, yeah, not a nice uh, setting today, a bit of a drizzly day. And, um, prior to this game, we took the Pirates uh, two games out of three, so looking to sweep them here in Anaheim and show the dominance. And the man going to try and do that is R.A. Dickey. Good start with us so far since we picked him up uh, in a trade involving, I believe it was uh, Joe Blanton. I can't quite remember now, um, but who knows, we will see. The knuckleball there in full swing already, making the count one and one. So yeah, before I get too far into the day's commentary over some baseball, uh, I'd like you guys to go ahead and check the link in the description below, or go through my channel and watch my most recent most recent ghosts video. Uh, you guys can uh, can see like my first thoughts on it. I kind of did a very kind of very very quick review, um, but yeah, so. Uh, the link will be in the description below, it might even be in related videos at the side of your screen or go through my channel, check it out, let me know what you guys think, it was a bit of a rushed review but uh, uh, let me know uh, what more ghosts you want me to do. Andrew McCutcheon there coming through with a big base hit, the runner goes home and the throw that goes home as well will allow McCutcheon to get to second rather than a single. So. Single and a stolen base there from McCutcheon and an RBI, and it's first blood to the Pirates. So yeah, guys, make sure you check out the Ghosts video. And uh, also, I've started a Call of Duty Ghost campaign. Let me know if you want to see more of that. But an easy out here for the Pirates or not. The pitcher not able to control it there, and Kayaspo gets on base. Shouldn't have there, but an E1 or an E2, I think, going to be charged here. Sorry, uh, uh, E4, 6, 4, 3. Sorry, E3, there we go. My mind is not working very well today. I've just got in from work. So, uh, yeah, uh, I've recorded my first episode of a COD Ghost campaign, so I'm thinking of doing a Let's Play. Let me know what you guys think. Do you want to see more of that? Would you like to see me do a Let's Play? I don't know. But a big crush fly ball here from Josh Hamilton. But McCutcheon only has to go back to the track to pick that one off. So a bit disappointing there that we couldn't uh, do anything else. Good catch by McCutcheon and nothing else comes of the inning. Clint Barmas here with a runners <laughs> with our runners with runners on first and second. And this one hit deep back to the wall. Sweeney tracking back. Leaps up trying to get it. Crashes into the wall. And then Bohr just throws home. Uh, sorry, throws the short. The damage is already done. A run comes in off an RBI double from Clint Barmas. So Pittsburgh now with a 2-0 lead. Runners on second and third Dickey able to get to that one just in time gets the out at home and finally the inning is over but the Pirates have already done enough here big deep fly ball from Barmas there sadly Sweeney not able to get to that one it's Mark Trummo is in the batter's box now so he's second in home run so far bottom of the second no outs for him looking to start a rally to potentially get us back in the game and the first pitch he sees is crushed deep to left and that one is gone. No thoughts about that one. And we are back in the game. It is 2-1 thanks to a big Mark Trumbo home run. A Trumbomb to get us with only one run of the Pirates here. If, he's the, if anyone can do it, Trumbo is the man always there when you need him. Playing at first today, Paul Hulse is not quite ready to come back from the disabled list fully. Trumbo covering first. Well, Sweeney playing in left field today. Mike Trout dh him because he was quite tired. So a little bit of a change to the lineup, but no change to the form of Mark Trumbo. Still crushing him outside of the park here. So here is Ryan Sweeney, the man playing in left. Not a great average, not great stats so far. But still not performing as bad as he could do. 27 home runs for Mark Trumbo and Ryan Sweeney gets on base there with a single that bounces off the mound. Kutcher throws the second, but the damage is done. Sweeney is on. Maybe the Angels looking to start a rally here. Sweeney's quite good for contact hitting. Don't always need him to go and crush big uh, deep balls like Trumbo. Paul Holes can. 
but I think the team is kind of missing pool holes as a whole if, if he DHs or if he plays at first. The base is loaded here for Dickey, top of the third. Not a good scenario for him to be in. Really not a good game from him so far at all. Giving up a lot of hits. 0-2 count though with that four-seamer. Hoping to get Martin out here. That ball is too low. Runners get checked. It's a Dickey in a jam that he's caused himself. Letting base runners on. Throwing a knuckleball here. This one goes as far as second. And a 5-4-3 uh, double play I believe that is. I could have made, got that wrong. Um, but oh well. Or a 4-6-3 sorry. Yeah 4-6-3. Yeah 4-6-3 double play. <laughs> Sadly, though, that allows another Pirates runner to come in. So the score is now 3 1. Knuckleball getting in the zone to even the count 1 and 1. Throw ahead and throw another knuckleball just inside. So 1 and 2. Nicky looking to get out of it here. That one is chopped foul. Two out so far. Needs to get it over with. That double play was crucial. Swing and a miss on a changeup. Finally, Dickey gets out of the inning. Only one run allowed from a bases loaded situation. It could have been worse, I suppose. Six hits so far for the Pirates. Dickey doing a terrible job today. Top of the fifth now. 0 2 count for Dickey. Facing Walker here. No outs in the fifth as of yet. And that one is crushed deep to left. Sweeney tracking back. Will it go foul? Will it stay fair? Off the foul pole for a home run. Walker able to get the lead further away from the Angels. 4-1 is the score. Big home run from Walker there and Dickey not having a good day at all. He knows it. And the Halos fans know it as well. Pittsburgh are happy though. And quite rightly so. How that one stayed foul, I do not know. Coming off the foul pole just before it could go foul. That's got to be soul destroying for Dickey. And it was opposite field as well, like a really weirdly hit ball. And you see here, just slowly floats into it. So after a bad start from Dickie, Jerome Williams is going to come in. His form has improved a lot recently. Facing Andrew McCutcheon here in the fifth. Sinker gets in the zone. 91 mile an hour sinker from Williams. Not bad. Going for a cut fast ball. Down and away. Chopped foul by McCutcheon. So no two count for Williams here. Try and throw a four seamer there. Swing and a miss. Jerome Williams, first thing he does after coming out of the bullpen is gets a K. But later in the inning, a runner on third. 0 oh, 2 count. That one chopped foul. He has managed to get two outs in the inning so far. Martin looking to get an RBI here. Swing and a miss on the curveball though. Williams is strong. Comes and makes his mark on this game, and he has got a deficit to work against here. Dickey has put him in. It's the top of the six. 1-1 one, one count, two out so far. Runner on first. That one chopped foul. Jose Tabata, to the man in the batter's box. And throw a th cut fastball inside. Just makes it into the strike zone. Caught looking. And Tabata goes down swinging. Williams able to hold. Pirates once again. Two errors so far for the Angels. And that is not good at all. So top of the eighth now, Williams still out there. 2 1 count. Curveball not getting into the zone there. So, not, not what I want to do here with two outs. Really want to get him out, get the side Cade. But no, that changeup doesn't make it in. Snyder gets a free pass to first. And this will allow Clint Barnes to come in. He's not had a bad day so far. Curveball though, just over the head of Trumbo. Hamilton will go into the corner. The runner going on 30 crashes into the wall. Hamilton not able to throw in time. A good relay throw. Garcia to the plate and tagged. So after a stumble from Hamilton that looked like it could be an RBI, a good throw to Garcia and Garcia coming up good there with the throw home. This one will only go as far as Garcia again. Throws over to first for the out in the top of the ninth. Williams still out there doing a good job. But Stamina is not doing him any good. Walker up of the plate now. Two outs. Can we get the inning over? And can we look to maybe fight back in the bottom of the ninth? 0-1 count. 0-2 count on a swing and a miss. Williams strong. Once again, going to go ahead and throw a four-seamer to the outside of the plate. That one bounces foul. 
So time to maybe get the uh, the relay on foot here for the Angels. Throwing a curveball. That one not going to fool Walker. Throw a sinker wide and outside. One two count. Gets that one foul as well. Three runs is what the, the Angels have to overcome here. If Williams can shut him down. No, though, he can't. After a long at-bat, that one bounces past Gaiaspo. And only gets as far as Sweeney. It is only a single, but it is not what Williams wanted at all. Here is McCutcheon. Not a man you want to be facing right now. That curveball will be hit foul. Oh, one count to McCutcheon. Cut fast ball away. That one goes foul again. Stronger hit this time, so McCutcheon showing he can still be a threat here. Trying to throw a low four-seamer. Not going to be fooled. McCutcheon never going to be fooled in that scenario. Try and throw it high and inside. Force a swing and a miss, maybe. That's exactly what happens. 92 mile an hour fastball. Swing and a miss from McCutcheon. And the Angels now have to overcome that big three-run deficit. Kayaspo here with an 0-2 count. Bounces one just past the second baseman. So the Angels potentially with a chance here. Kayaspo starting that rally. First batter. And he was in a 0-2 hole. So that is obviously going to be a pitching change. Pirates aren't going to risk blowing it here. They are going to take out... Uh, I forget the name of their starter. I'm so tired, guys. But they are going to bring in Jason Grilly. They're going to try and close this game out. Grilly, a very strong pitcher. Hamilton, a very strong player. Not today, though. 0 for 3 so far. Really need to turn this around. The bottom of the ninth, no outs. That slurve, SLV sliding curve, maybe. Just gets into the zone. And here is the league leaders of the save. Sergio Romo topping that one. 0 1 count to Hamilton here. Don't want to dig himself into a hole because that is a hard place to get out of. Kayaspo was lucky. Slurve again. Just getting into the zone underneath the swing of Josh Hamilton. So no two count for Hamilton here. But this one crushed into right field. A good hit. Only going to be a single though. Kayaspo not going to be able to go ahead and get to third. So runners on first and second now. At least Kayaspo is in scoring position. So after a Mike Trout sacrifice uh, bunt. That is going to be the runners on second and third. Trumbo is the man in the box who swings and misses there to make it 0-1. If anyone can do it, it's Mark Trumbo. He represents the tie and run here in this scenario. Right versus righty matchup. Just chopping that one only as far as short. Throw over is in time. Hamilton stays on second. Luckily, Kaspar was able to come home, but Paul Holes here with the tie and run. Hamilton at second. Paul Holes with two outs to play with. The first one he sees is popped up in the air. Shortstop underneath it. Is it game over? Yes, it is. Sadly, the Angels lose this one to a very good Pirates. A poor pitching performance from R.A. Dick. He puts in a hole early on. We were not able to come overcome that. Cool holes. His uh, his pinch hit was just atrocious. So not a good performance today from the Angels, but we still take two of three against the Pirates here at Anaheim. Thank you very much for watching, folks. Like I say, make sure you check the Cod Ghost video in the description below and let me know if you'd like to see me do a Let's Play. Uh, leave a like if you enjoyed this. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more of my Angels franchise. And as always, guys, I love you all. I will see you on my next video.